Today we're talking about a very new feature just introduced in GitHub Actions, job containers and service containers from private registries. What does that mean? Well, let's discover this together. This is the 3 minus series. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 minus series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or a service, or yet teach you something, and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Before we start, take a moment to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and if you want to learn about DevOps, especially with Azure DevOps and GitHub. Just click on the subscribe button below right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any new videos like this. As I mentioned in the opening, today we're gonna talk about a brand new feature of GitHub Actions the possibility of using job containers and service containers from private registries. What does that mean? Well, let's start the clock and get into it. First off, what are job containers and service containers? Job containers allow you to provide the environment and the tools your workflow need. They are a great way to ensure your dependencies are always present and under your complete control. Similarly, service containers provide a way to stand up additional services your workflow may need to build or test against. For example, a database, an API, cache layer, and so on and so forth. Previously, you may have had a workflow like this. As you can see, we have the services section and the container section. The services section over here represent the service containers, while the containers over here represent the job containers. And as you can see, both of the images, Radius and Alpine, have to come from public registries because there's no credential or anything else like that. Unfortunately, until now, there hasn't been a way to consume those containers from private registries or more in general, if pulling them requires you to be logged in. But with the new feature, in fact, we can now specify username and password for our registries in a new credential property and it's basically like you would do when you use the docker login command. And this is the new workflow syntax. As you can see, we still have the services section and the container section, and we have expanded to be able to use the different properties. So we do have the image, but now we also have this credential section over here and over here that allows you to specify username and password to login into your private container registry. And this, of course, can be any container registry you want, whether it's the GitHub one, like in this example, or the private Docker Hub, or Azure Container Registries, and so on and so forth. As you can see, it's really straightforward. Just specify username and password for your container registry, and you're good to go. And we're done. Let's stop the clock. I think today has stayed within the three minutes limit, so yeah, that's great, right? Anyway, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this new feature, I personally think it's a great addition to GitHub Actions that finally opens a lot of new scenarios. From private registries, registries, where you're consuming a Docker login. No. Today I finally stay within the three minutes living. Leave it. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave. Oh.